Crypto.com halts all, all operations in the USA. I mean, the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, is, is, on a, is on a crypto killing spree at the moment. It's almost like he's eliminating all of FTX's old co- competitors. So <laughs> it's a big deal. They've spent over a billion dollars on sporting assets around the world over the last few years. The iconic Staples Center got changed to now Crypto.com Arena, the home of the Lakers. Um, what does this mean to the world of sport in the U.S.? Well, in the in the U.S., um, it's uh, you know certainly something you know we kind of obviously watch this unravel with FTX and Crypto.com. Uh, you know, came out and was very uh, you know committed to their relationships. You know. Business as usual, obviously made the appropriate adjustments uh, where they needed to. Um, but, uh, you know, given Gensler's latest, uh, you know, I guess, attack on the industry, um, you know, it's making it hard, you know, you know, obviously you know, suing Coinbase and Binance, who are obviously two, you know, sponsors as well with, uh, you know, the NBA and a few other opportunities that they're involved in. Um, you know, it's making it hard to kind of conduct uh, or you know, generate accounts and and uh, and conduct business in this market. Um, you know, so the suspension of those U.S. operations um, certainly, you know, you know, it, you know, damages you know their activation in this marketplace. But the properties that they hold, Formula One, uh, UFC, uh, you know, uh, Crypto.com Arena, uh, the Jersey uh, position on uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. At some level, they still have global impact. So for them, you know, again, the you know the uh, you know, I would say the the logic behind them not being a potential F, FTX scenario is that they still have global assets and still can you know, leverage them on a global scale. Uh, but there will be you know obviously very difficult to activate around you know Vegas and 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 Austin, Texas, around those two Grand Prix with Formula One. Um, Obviously, Crypto.com Arena uh, still is, you know, generates, you know, global, uh, you know, viewing. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's probably not going to be a lot of, you know, you know, account signups. Uh, they still can certainly, uh, you know, take care of account holders and things like that at the arena. But, uh, you know, it's it will be interesting to watch kind of one more importantly, you know, what they do moving forward. Um, but uh, what I don't anticipate is this, uh, you know, this big. Uh, uh, unraveling of, of sports sponsorship, but you may see, uh, you know, them really shift their activation platforms and how they utilize hospitality, uh, certainly at those venues, uh, that, you know, that have it, um, you know, moving forward. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, we talked about it when, when FTX happened, uh, you know, it was a, obviously a very lucrative category that was spending uh, heavily and somewhat drunkenly in the cat in, in, in the sports space. Um, and the FTX was a correction, but now this is not as much a, you know, a, a, uh, industry correction as it is, you know, at some level, a, uh, you know, a, you know, response to an outright attack on their, on their capability of doing business here in the United States. Um, and, uh, you know, they, you know, they have to be prudent business people at some point and, uh, you know, figure out, you know, where they can actually monetize. Um, and it appears to be anywhere but the U.S. at this point. Well, I, it's, it's actually very interesting what's, what's currently happening. I watched an interview for uh, Brian Armstrong, the founder and CEO of uh, Coinbase. And he said over the last 12 months, they've tried to organize a meeting with the SEC chairman. I, countless times over the last two years countless times they've never ever ever been able to sit with the chairman face to face and understand why he's doing this number two they had over 30 meetings in the last two last year alone to come to some sort of resolution and understand what's happening for the industry they've been proactive they're a publicly listed company they 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 ipo at like 100 billion dollars uh, they have thousands, tens of thousands of, of investors. So Coinbase has said we're 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 going to take the fight to the SEC and get some clarity and some and some understanding. What is going on? 
nobody's been able to give answers. So we've had a few people from from Congress now start to get involved and hopefully we'll see some some clarity around what can and can't be done. The moral of the story is that there hasn't been much effort from the SEC to really sit down and iron things out. It's almost like, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist at all, but, you know, it's almost like what I said before. It's almost like they're, they're, they're knocking out all these FTX competitors so FTX can come back when, 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 when they do come back. It's just it's just insane time. And the impact that FTX left on sport, where we had arenas name, and naming rights ha- having to be filled, we had teams now that had millions of dollars of sponsorship that now became pretty much vacant. So it's really vast and and impactful. And it there doesn't seem to be that receptive care by the by by the actual actual officials. So it's it's becoming a real problem. Europe, China, um, even parts of Africa, South America are all in on crypto, leading the world in technology. The U.S. is the home of innovation. The U.S. is where the world looks to for innovation. And now we're having to copy what's what's happening in Europe and so on and so on in terms of the actual re- re- regulations and so on and so on. So it's it's probably not the not the best of times for the world world of crypto, but we we hope there there can be some sort of resolution because there's a lot of sporting assets that could be impacted if these players do go, do go under. Yeah, certainly, certainly with uh, Copa America and World Cup heading our way in the, in, uh, in the next, uh, you know, several years, you know, there's, there's many, you know, uh, you know, national teams coming from countries with, with crypto partnerships involved. And certainly the plan was to activate them uh, here in, in the U S and, you know that's you know that's to, that's to be determined and uh, and and uh, you know like you said it's there's a lot of questions that uh, you know from a, just from a straight business standpoint I mean and this is no different than how you know betting felt for a while uh, in the spirit industry when they were you know blocked out of certain category you know of being able to advertise around around sport um, you know they wanted answers you know how can uh, you know you know, we, they needed, they wanted regulation. They wanted to participate. And obviously when those categories opened, they became, uh, you know, flush spenders at just like, uh, you know, crypto.com did and, uh, and, and FTX and, and, and that industry. And now we've got, uh, you know, the SEC, you know, trying to tell us the dodge, the dollar is a digital asset, which it's not. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, just, just shoot it straight. You know, what, you know, we're, we're, we're printing dollars. Uh, we're not digitizing them. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things that, that the, the explanation that you do get leads to more questions. Um, and cer- certainly as it pertains to those of us that, that work with these companies from a sponsorship standpoint, those companies themselves that, uh, that operate, uh, you know, in the, uh, in, in the crypto and, and, and blockchain, uh, space as well. Um, you know, they need answers and uh and 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 more importantly you've got uh, teams and organizations and properties you know that have uh you know significant relationships with these companies uh that kind of need to know you know heading into next year or in future years is that a, a partnership that we need to uh uh you know look to replace because uh you know at some point you know those companies are going to you know cease operations, cease, cease being able to conduct business. Uh, and at some point, you know, just what you don't want is that what happened with FTX, just, you know, one minute they're there and then the next minute, poof, they're gone and uh, you're in the middle of a name change. Yeah, I mean, I know of literally businesses that have, that were solely reliant on FTX and have disappeared since like not even larger businesses businesses in the world of NIL that were had a ton of these sponsorship and marketing deals and had now literally halted all business because they're gone. So believe it or not, there'd be similar businesses that have these relationships with crypto.com and Binance and Coinbase. Well, this morning, in good news for the industry, Coinbase took obviously the SEC, um, SEC's decision to halt all their operations in the US 
to the Supreme Court and it got overturned. So they can right. they can they can pretty much keep keep going again. So it's just the impact that it leaves purely based on um, I'm trying to be polite here on um, ne- negligence by these by these officials. It's just it's just the people just don't care anymore. It's just like it doesn't matter what happens as long as I get my way and my agenda and, and my people, it's fine. So you know. right, right, yeah. I mean, at some point, it's 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 not even negligence. It's uh, it, sometimes it's it's almost uh, uh, you know ignorance at some level. They're, you know, they don't they don't understand it, and if they don't understand it, they're frightened of it. And the best way, to, and if they don't want to educate themselves, they just want to eliminate it. And and unfortunately, that's that's pervading in, in lots of areas of of society globally. And you know, if you don't like someone, you you. You don't want to try to have dialogue with them. You want to eliminate them from the from the from the conversation. You you uh, you know you block them. You you uh, you delete them. Um, you indict them, <laughs> um, as we're as we're finding out today as well. So I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, look, we're we're a society of of uh, of conversationalists and 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 want to, uh, you know, expand our, our knowledge base and 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 why you know, we shouldn't be afraid of new things. I mean, certainly the technology itself in general is fascinating. Uh, and we've seen fantastic technology get applied to our, our, our industry, um, you know, with, uh, you know, with facial recognition and, and, and security and, 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 uh, you know, and, uh, you know, health, uh, related, uh, matters and, 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 uh, why wouldn't we want the same as it comes to transactional and, 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 and fan fan engagement and interaction, uh, those types of things, and and if it's a an industry that's robust and and supporting uh, not only providing jobs but supporting sports properties and industries and and helping uh, you know provide um, you know entertainment, um, you know it 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 just kind of you know befuddles me to the point to why you know a government agency would would look to uh, you know eliminate it. Unless there's, unless they have something that uh, they're looking to gain uh, by eliminating that competition. So, I, you know, all speculative. We don't know, but I mean, at, at, at this point, we're we're hopeful that uh, you know there's more rulings in favor of Coinbase or, or, or Crypto.com, or, or, or at least there's an explanation that provides a path for them to conduct their business and and, and move forward um, in the long term. Because obviously we have relationships with a client with XBTO that's very involved in that space, and uh, have a have a significant relationship with a uh, with a club that became extremely popular in the last week um, to the to the tune of about another six million Instagram followers. Um, and uh, you know, so you know, obviously there's there's a lot riding on this, and hopefully you know there is a little bit more uh, dialogue, uh, cooler heads prevail, and, and there is some. Um, you know, some good, uh, some some positive results so everybody can move forward. Absolutely. Well, the good news is that Coinbase has taken the fight personally and they're going for it. So I, I believe in Brian Armstrong and, 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 and his people. He's been a a man who stood by his principles no no matter what has been thrown, thrown at him. So we're, we're, we're definitely in good hand. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, Rob, once again. Week in, week out, you're definitely here for us. Um, and, to, and to everybody who's tuned in and will be listening to us through our podcast channels, thank you all. Take care, everyone.